Okay, so if you've been using this software in the past, you might be thinking, well, he forgot to show us how he had the buttons. That's the big update. The software automatically added these buttons based on whether things are being intruded, extruded, or rotated. Now, I'm gonna say that sometimes it adds more buttons that are needed. Do you need all these buttons? Not necessarily, um, but it's much easier to right click and remove a button than it is to have to go through the process of adding. So it, I, I'm i happy. This, These two buttons that we talked about intruding the smaller, that's why there's these two buttons here, okay? We also planned on intruding all of these incisors. So there's buttons on the canines to help anchor it, and there's also buttons on these incisors so that when they're intruded, if one, but, if one tooth wants to intrude a little more on its own, it makes sure that the, the final alignment is all sequenced across all of them. If you don't like that approach, if you're like, okay, I just want buttons on the canines and you can just right click and remove these, but that's what they're there for. Let's click at initial position. And these are here because this tooth is rotated a little bit. And I believe the same thing with the molar. I would probably go ahead and right click this and just say, remove. I don't need that button. Okay. Again, the lower, the incisor buttons, yeah. Which, whichever you prefer. There is some rotation being done as well. Not a lot, pretty minimal. I wouldn't need, I would, if, if everything else was fine, I wouldn't worry about buttons for these teeth, but um, I'm gonna leave them. Uh, you can now to make that decision. Um, now let's look at the mandible or the maxilla. And you can see, once again, probably more buttons than you might think initially, but why are they there? Let's look. If we turn on the initial, we can see which teeth have sort of rotated. You can see how this is rotated. And it positions the button on the side that is gonna be more exposed so that your button doesn't end up. That, that's one of the reasons why it positions it where it is. So these buttons are all here for rotation of those teeth. Any, te any buttons you don't like. Um, and the software, some people might not like this. Some people say, well, I only want buttons if it's so many degrees. I'm, that is something that was asked of me by the developers, but I don't believe in that. I think that if you're gonna rotate a tooth, you're rotating a tooth. It doesn't, the tooth doesn't care how far you're rotating it. If a tooth needs a button to rotate three degrees or 30 degrees, it's gonna need a button to rotate three degrees. That or the tooth just doesn't need a button. I mean, I just don't think that the number of degrees affects whether the tooth needs a button or not. And that's, again, that's my opinion. Um, but, uh, th so this is going to put it on no matter what, if there's a rotation of the tooth. Just right click and remove any ones you don't like. Okay, but the nice thing is, is if you're okay with the buttons, you just move forward. This phase is the, the fastest phase of all because it pops up very quickly and you don't have to do anything unless, unless you want to remove buttons. And that is it. Let's go ahead and continue to the final phase, which is exporting. Well, I almost forgot. So what if you don't like the buttons or say, what if you want to add a button? All you do to add a button is right click on the tooth and click add buttons. You've got a, a variety of buttons here. Uh, we have also, this is one other small update. Instead of just having these buttons where you have to rotate them, you now actually have a horizontal rectangle, not just the vertical. So I can quickly click here and I can choose the size, small, medium, or large, and it puts the button right where I told it to go. I can see the dimensions of where it is. I can slide it up and down. I can scale it larger and smaller in whichever direction I want. So there's that. And just for, you know, also you can add the same one again, or you can say, okay, I want to right click. I want to duplicate it and pop that button right on here as well. Lastly, just to show you the other buttons, we do have um, sort of, these buttons are, are what you would, uh, you're talking about more for like uh, class two correction and whatnot. I'm gonna remove that, or there's various reasons to use them honestly, but um, that's those type of buttons. And then there's other shaped buttons. Um, people prefer them for different reasons and whatnot. So anyway, all right, just want to make sure you did, I didn't miss that. So let's go ahead and continue to continue to export.